Hello, thank you for joining me. That is a signal to indicate a junction. When it lights up white, it means a train can turn left. We're at a junction station. The station we're at is her screen. I've never been here before. The main line going south goes to East Grinstead and the Bluebird Railway. We're not going there. We're going to go down the Upfield line, which I have only ever before today done one bit of the bit where the Spa Valley Railway joins. We're not going to the Spa Valley Railway either. We're going to a lesser known railway. Now today is technically an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. But the railway we're going to, whilst we will ride a Miniature Railway, is probably more well known for its narrow gauge railway. The place we're going to is Tinker's Park and the Great Bush Railway. So Tinker's Park is a place I always want to go to. They have a steam rally there. They sometimes have bus rallies. Today there's a event, I think it's classic cars, model railways, and the narrow gauge and miniature railways are running. So as is narrow gauge railway, qualifies to be included in the Miniature Railway Britain series. I'm waiting here for the upfield train. They told everyone to change at Oxted, but I wanted to tick off this station. So I deliberately changed here at her screen. So as I say, we can't really see the junction and it's still red, but when our train arrives, that will light up. So it'll be a diesel train because the upfield branch is still non-electrified. So I'm looking forward to doing a nice bit of winning track down to Upfield. Stopped at Erridge, where the Spa Valley Railway is, and, and there's a Class 33. Had that loco for haulage a moment ago. We just went past the Class 31 with a few carriages, so it's nice to out in this backwater of the railways see some traditional trains. We're going to continue down. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing because to get to Tinkers Park, there's a bus. Now, the bus starts at Oxfield Bus Station stops at Buxted. That was my plan. We're about seven or eight minutes late, so it depends are we going to make the bus. So I, my plan would be to get off at Buxted, tick off Buxted station, get the bus from there. I think I might stay on, given the weather, as you can see, it's raining, stay on to Uckfield and then catch the bus there. At least that'll get me to the end of the line. Anyway, there's a class 33. I've made numerous videos on the Spa Valley Railway in the past. You can actually see where the Spa Valley Railway track goes beyond here. It was good when I came here earlier this year. They were running a thumper along here. So this line, which is so well known for the thumpers, ends there. But at least I've seen a thumper in action on the Upfield line. If you want to see that, have a look at the link on screen now. Anyway, I'm going to continue enjoying this journey either to Buckstead or Upfield. So I've made it to Upfield and it's raining. End of the line, nice old signal box. This is the rather modern station building. Our train is about to now return to Oxted. Now this isn't the original station. The line used to continue down to Lewis. This was supposed to be a video on um, a miniature railway, and it will be, I promise, but it's turning into a bit of video on the Upfield line, because while we're here, we might as well have a look. So there's our train that's brought here, class 171. There's the old signal box. Um, which doesn't look like it's in use. I thought at one point it was a taxi office, but it looks empty. So the railway would have continued across here and the, the old Arkfield station would have been there where it appears the car park is. And look, the pub is called The Station. Um, I wonder if we can get across the road just to set foot on the old station site and see if there is anything to be seen. Now I've got to go and find the bus station. That's Arkfield Town Centre. Um, yeah, so... Not a lot, but the line would have continued down there, beyond the end of that car park, down to Lewis. So this, this is Uckfield, and um, like I say, it's nice to see the box survives. I've got to go and find the bus now, get out this rain. Well, I'm going to check it is going on.
about Buxter Station. It's still raining, but not quite as hard as it was. I'm probably not going to stay up here for the ride, but I'm on top of the bus. And um, yeah, it's the station. I'm not going to count this station having visited it because I haven't actually gone onto the platform. I just thought, well, it's not raining, I'll just come up here. And as if on cue, there's a train coming. So if anyone's coming to Tinker's Park, you could quite easily make this connection, but my train was late, so this is what's train. So now you can see the bus I've travelled here on. We seem to stop at this bus stop, um, which is quite literally in the middle of a field with a few cars parked. The event we're going to is just in there. So there's a little hut here. Well, I think we need to go in. So I'm going to go inside and enjoy an afternoon in the rain. Oh, I've paid my eight pounds to get in. I'm going to have a fun afternoon here in the rain. Look, there's quite a few buses. Morris Travellers. Narrow gauge train. There's, like I say, there's also a model rail exhibition, then, so at least that will be perhaps indoors. Let's go and have a look at this station. This is obviously one end of the railway line. Well, this is the Great Bush Railway. There's a, one of the carriages there. There's a little diesel engine. Look, we'll see this go past. This one is going to take us. Um, well, let's actually quickly have a look at the local at the other end and I'm going to try and get under some sort of shelter before I get any wetter. This local has just bought a train and it's called Drusilla. So it looks like the other one's going to take us the other way. So hopefully, over the course today, I'll try and get both locos for all this. So here we are, we're on the train. This is the upper station. I think we're going. We're going to go down to the lower. We're going to the lower station. Um, it's not much drier in here, although we are undercover. This. Yeah, this is so we've gone from a noisy old bus to a noisy old diesel. You get a good view though of the cars. That white bus, that's the one we were on. This will give us um, an opportunity see the sign, because I've not been here before. Oh. Maybe a crash though. I've just spotted the miniature railway for the miniature railway Britain episode which will come here. So I have a ride on that, I think there's nothing to on that. Hold a steam rally here. This, this event is a bit like a steam rally, but more focusing on, I think, the, the classic cars. I think tomorrow there is a bus rally on. There's a, I'm going to another event tomorrow, like that. That's why I didn't. So tomorrow is actually the better day. Oh look, there's a, a very um, smoky steam engine. It's easy to stop slowing down here. I'm getting. So there's a traction engine as well. So the village railway is quite short, but we'll, we'll have a ride. So there's a, we get a run past now, the steam local. gone green. Yeah, I don't know he's a parson loop, that just goes into the yard. It's got there's another diesel loco there. It's got a very um very rustic feel this now we're going to and I really like it. There's another loco in the shed just there. There's also one that's like a wig and crowd. I 
I think that's the battery electric logo. Which is from... Well, it's a steam engine, the steam train coming the other way. been to a few years ago. I don't think I made a video there. It looks like we're going to now disappear off. We won't even have a red here. We're at another red signal. We don't have anything else this coming. It's a bit, as I've never been here before, it really is a bit of a surprise to me to see what turns up. The steam loco is this way. Oh yeah, we've got a green now. Steam loco's around there. I've just seen a shed that says to the model railway, so that'd be... I will be glad to get out of the rain. As I said, as fun as this ride is, I'm really enjoying it in the rain. It's not, there's not a lot of protection from the weather. We could have done with that on today's bus, with this weather. We're just causing a level crossing, there's a man there, flags. Stop the field, there's a nice miniature track there. He must have stopped the field crossing the, the line. Yeah, this railway, I thought we might be coming to here, but we're sitting down here. I think it's kind of a U-shaped line. We basically just dropped down, down the side. Now, if things aren't going to get any stranger, there's a miniature tram on two for gauge track. We're going to have to go and have a look at that. That looks really quite exciting. We're just past, past another steam roller coming up. We're going to pass some quite nice vehicles here, steam rollers. Yeah. 
time we're coming to another little crossing. There's a man standing out of the rain in his flag. Another There's road load. Up there. We'll get a ride on that later. My plan is basically to clear the winners that there is. We'll do the miniature railway because that's kind of what we've come here for. We'll just have a general look around the site. I'm not sure how far we're going to go, but we're, we're going off down the hill. I've had very few traction engines for haulage, but um, this, this is one I'm getting now. So this is going to be good. But if we're going to go back up the hill, it's going to be really good. So I'll, I'll do a bit of filming when we go up the hill. Great ride behind this Burrell steam engine around the site. There's another steam engine there, might have a ride behind that one later. We're going to go and walk up to the miniature railway now. Um, to get there, of course, we have to cross the narrow gauge railway. Now, here is the narrow gauge railway. See the Orestine and Coppel steam loco. Tell you what, while we're here, let's go and have a look at the lower station. We can see the steam loco. Then a train should arrive which then the Orestine and Coppel will work back up to the other end of the line and then we'll go and do the miniature railway. So we get to here, this is Lower Station where we were not so long ago. You can see the steam loco. So this Orestine and Coppel loco, I've ridden behind a few of these in the past. I had one at Leighton Buzzard Railway over in Bedfordshire and I had another one um, quite recently at Chanteray park in Paris when I was over there with Rail Trail Tours we had a charter and we had a steam loco just like this one so they're quite numerous you do find them all over the place you know pretty much anywhere from Paris to Sussex <laughs> everywhere and now that there's a man standing at the crossing 
guarding it because there's a train coming. So this is the narrow gauge train. This is the goods train. So we're about to get a steam hauled freight out of here. I think it's going to be quite spectacular. And then after that, as promised, I will go and do the miniature railway.
Yeah, go on then. So I've now had a ride on the miniature railway, the narrow gauge railway and traction engines and buses. So it really is a great place for lots of different rides. The miniature railway is quite short but you know it's complemented nicely by the narrow gauge railway and everything else which is on. There's also the model rail exhibition. I'm not going to do feature too much on the model rail exhibition um, because I don't tend to cover model rail exhibitions on my channel but we, we'll go and have a look and we'll have a look at some there's no doubt going to be some quite interesting layouts there to see just walking along here about there you've got 
you know, like the catering and everything, um, so you can go and get a cup of tea, etc. For this place, it's not open all the time, so if you're thinking of going, you really do need to look at their open days to check when they're running. They only have a few open days a year, which I think um, partly adds to the charm of, of the place. But it's definitely worth coming, and as I've shown, you can quite easily get here by train. This is the middle station, which they seem to just be called Upper and Lower. It doesn't seem to have a name. And there's only a platform on that side. This is where the trains pass. You can see there's a semaphore signal there, and then they've got colour light signals going down there. One thing I do want to go and have a look at, I'm very intrigued by it, is this tram, which we I pointed out from the train earlier on. We've got to go and have a look at that, because that is, um, it's a bit of a debatable. I've done this whole thing before, so what is miniature, what is narrow gauge etc that was done a few years ago if you want to see that video look at link on screen now if you look at this it's a great little tram and there's no two ways about it it's definitely definitely a miniature but it's on narrow gauge track so i suppose the way i'm going to describe this is it is a miniature railway but miniature could be and it's to say if you got flying scotsman and built or a Duchess Pacific or even a Class 47 and built a scaled down model that sat on two foot gauge track then technically it'd be a miniature it's very unusual this is where it crosses over like you get 18 inch 18 inch can sometimes be miniature and um, if you think of say Scarborough miniature railway no that's 21 inch um, that's probably not the best thing. but the example I'm trying to make is that with 21 inches of Scarborough miniature railway it's definitely a miniature railway but they have also got narrow gauge trains but 18 inch most 18 inch gauge railways I come across are narrow gauge. So I suppose it's miniature on narrow gauge track, but it's always a bit of a blurry one. Romney Harvard Dimchurch is that miniature, is it's narrow gauge in my books. It's but anyway, it's a fantastic little tram. Be great to see. I'm not sure how it's powered. It looks like someone has effectively built it as a miniature. I don't know how easy it'd be to get inside. Be, be, so if anyone knows any more about this, uh, please do comment down because I'm really intrigued by this tram. Anyway, I'm going to go inside here and have a look at the model railways.
always makes my day when I see Morris Miners, Morris Travellers, etc. Really nice British cars. A few more classic cars to see, and of course, lots of buses. And as we know, there's railways as well. What I think I'm going to do now, I would love to stay a bit longer, but it's starting to rain again. At one point, the sun did look like it might come out, but it hasn't. I might go for a ride on my favourite open top bus because it's doing a bus ride up to Mayfield. It'll come back here. I've got 10 minutes before I get bus to Uckfield. That diesel, I've got to say, I really do like the thrash on this diesel. Let's go and watch it go past one more time. This is definitely my favourite diesel. Oh, that's not, there you are. I still like that one as well. Um, the Ruston one was brilliant for thrash and smoke. The, um, the motor rail one is, it is good. There it goes, we're a freight train. So, I hope you've enjoyed. That's the one. That's the, the Ruston. I think um, I think the Motorrail is trying to give the Ruston one a run for its money in terms of thrash. Right, um, I'm just looking at the bus because I know as soon as that bus driver gets on, um, the bus will be going soon. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, like I said, do come and visit. Just check their Facebook page and their website, Tinker's Park. The railway's called the Great Bush Light Railway, but this is Tinker's Park. I can hear that rust and still fashion away. I'm going for a ride on the bus, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.